The Danais just pulled the curtain on Google's recent AI attention, and oh my god, he wasn't holding back. According to him, the frenzy is blinding everyone to what's actually happening behind the scenes. Google's Gemini 3 took the internet by storm, beating every other model in the market on each benchmark, from coding and math all the way to reasoning. It practically sent every competitor into panic mode with OpenAI even announcing a code red. Safe to say, Google wiped the competition hard and clean. With the model's success, people started believing that Google was the way to go. Coupled with Google's TPU chips, a direct competitor to Nvidia's GPUs, you were looking at a complete AI ecosystem by Google that was outdoing its competitors by a landslide. Everyone was convinced that they should just close their eyes and put their money into Google and wait for it to rain. Well, Dan Ives says not so fast. While Google might be gaining unreal hype at the moment, he claims that Nvidia is still the indisputable Rocky Balboa of the AI revolution and that it's not changing anytime soon. While Google might be ruling the generative AI space right now, according to Dan Ives, it's a completely different ball game when it comes to chips and the competition isn't even close. Nvidia powers roughly a whopping 90% of the data center market. Simply put, Nvidia is the powerhouse behind most of the AI in the world right now and the demand for Google's TPUs isn't nearly as impressive. In an interview with Bloomberg, Dan said that there is one godfather of AI and that's Jensen. Not only has Nvidia captured the bulk of the market share in the AI hardware space, but it continues to innovate, improving the value its chips provide. And if there's one thing that big players like OpenAI and Anthropic know, it's that they can always rely on Nvidia. For any company using AI for its core service, innovation is everything. A new feature here, a slight accuracy bump there, and you're already outperforming everyone else in the market. That sort of innovation requires reliable hardware, and Nvidia certainly has that front covered. That's one of the reasons their GPUs are so popular, or in Dan's words, it continues to be Nvidia's world and everyone else is just paying rent. Nvidia is far ahead of anyone just starting out in making their own chips, and it doesn't matter if it's trillion dollar companies like Google or Amazon. It's a lot of trial and error, and no one gets it right on the first or even their second try. Luckily for Nvidia, they've paid their dues years in advance. Even if Google does catch up on the tech, it's more likely to keep playing catch up with Nvidia because Jensen will be cooking up the next big thing in the meantime. Don't get me wrong, Google's TPUs are great, and they're getting better by the day. But as things stand at the moment, Nvidia is just better. According to Dan, when compared to every other chip on the market, Nvidia's at least four years ahead, and at the pace things move in AI, that is a hell of a lot. However, Dan also says that the demand to supply ratio for AI chips right now is 12 to 1, so Nvidia certainly isn't able to keep up with all that demand in the market. That means more room for Google to establish itself. But here's the flip side, and one that could prove to be dangerous for Google. Since Google can't capture a significant share of the market right now, with the market more ripe than it ever has been, it will only become harder for Google once Nvidia scales its supply. Even with all the excess demand for AI compute and the server supply shortage on Nvidia's end at the moment, not a lot of companies have switched over to Google's TPUs. The baseline is that people want to make the switch. They want to incorporate AI wherever they can, but right now, Nvidia is what they're betting on to make that happen. But this reveals something much more interesting about where the AI market is headed. That 12 to 1 demand to supply ratio means there's 3 to 4 trillion yet to be spent on AI compute alone in the next few years. Combine that with what these enterprises are expecting consumers to spend on in the next few years, and you've easily topped the $10 trillion mark. Even if those exact estimates are optimistic, one thing is clear. Dan Ives thinks AI is not a bubble, and it's only going onward and upward from here. No matter what the critics say, and no matter how many comparisons you make with the dot-com bubble, AI is here to stay for good. The only people who are missing out are the ones waiting for it to collapse. So when we rack up years worth of demand for AI chips, trillions of dollars of investments, and possibly even more consumer spend, we're all looking at one thing, and it's that AI revolution. The reality is, it's all being built on top of one chip at the moment, 
and that's NVIDIA's. So when a multi-trillion dollar industry is being built almost exclusively through your hardware, it's hard not to put your chips into NVIDIA. They have the market share, they have the tech, and the demand is about to go through the roof. So what does this mean for NVIDIA stock? According to Dan, their recent growth was just the beginning and the next leg of Nvidia's growth story has only just begun. So if you thought that Nvidia's $5 trillion market cap in 2025 was groundbreaking news, you're in for a treat because it's only going to get bigger and better from here, according to Dan. But this isn't bad news for Google either. It's progressing fast and its AI integration across the ecosystem is honestly the most seamless we've seen so far. Given Microsoft's co-pilot and the mess Apple intelligence is turning out to be, Google is leading the AI ecosystem and Gemini 3 is giving generative AI pioneers like OpenAI and Anthropic a run for their money. Safe to say, Google has come a long way from Bard. So why can't all this tech translate to numbers like NVIDIA's? Because when you're competing with NVIDIA, you're officially playing with the big boys. As Dan Ives puts it, NVIDIA isn't just assisting the AI revolution at this point, it's powering it. Almost every AI chatbot you use is trained using NVIDIA's GPUs. Almost every AI generated photo you see was most likely processed using NVIDIA hardware. Every video, yes, you guessed it. So while Google might be progressing at a faster rate than ever, the gap in the chip market with Nvidia still exists. Moreover, the tech market trends, according to Dan, are only going to further increase this gap. With every business looking to develop its own proprietary AI, train its own models, and basically make its own version of GPT trained on its own data, the demand is about to shift big time. This would mean a shift in demand from a few big names to almost every other company that could justify an AI use case. That's just all the more demand for Nvidia because it still has an approximate 90% market share in the AI hardware space. Dan believes that big tech is expected to remain the dominant force in financial markets as investors continue to pour billions into companies that are driving the next phase of artificial intelligence. So every time a company finds a slightly different use case for AI or builds something new on top of existing technology, expect that to be a tailwind for big tech stocks.